Hi guys, hope you're well and um, thank you for tuning in into a new video. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video on my channel as I haven't made a specific video like this. As you can probably tell from the title, I am going to talk about law of attraction and how to attract more money into your life. Um, but I kind of think it's still related because obviously I do loads of um, how to make more sales videos and stuff and this is one of the things that I do on a daily basis to attract more sales and with that attract more money. So I hope you find it useful. I did mention in a couple of, of my videos previously and a couple of you have mentioned that you also believe in law of attraction. So I thought it would be a good um, video to make just so I can talk about what I do to attract more money. Now before I get started I just want to explain that I have been using Law of Attraction I think my whole life but I generally have been reading a lot about it and discovered the secret movie obviously and the book and all of the rest of it I think a couple of years ago. Um, and I have been using it since then. Now the important thing to mention is that I am generally a very positive person. I always was and always have been. And I think this helps. Uh, that's not to say that I don't have any negative days or that I don't feel low. But generally I always try and always have been this type of person to always try to see like the good side of whatever happens and I my mum always taught me to believe in you know that whatever happens it happens for the good so you know even if you're going through something that seems bad at the moment it's probably good in the long run so just to explain that anyway law of attraction is basically um, belief that whatever you believe and however you feel is what you attract into your life this to me makes perfect sense, it's very logical to me, I believe that everything is energy, we are the energy uh, bodies, I guess, um, and we are made out of energy, so it makes sense to me that we attract whatever we think about because it's kind of like a vibration of the energy, and yeah, so that's um, what I believe in, it's not a religion, it's just a way to live your life, and I think generally really helps with life because life as we all know can be sometimes quite difficult and to have a belief I think it's really extremely important obviously to me I have a tattoo that says believe so beliefs have always been a very important part of my life I believe in God I believe in all sorts of different things and one of the things that I believe is law of attraction which is all to me kind of connected anyway so the way I use law of attraction is like a generally people will use so I would ask for what I want I will believe that I can have it I will do what I have to do to get it and you know or open myself to opportunities to get it and then I'll, I will let go and then I will open myself to receiving whatever I need to or ask to receive so it's it sounds really plain and simple and I think it is, it's just on the beginning when people start working with it you might find it a little bit of a challenge but in what, once you start doing it you get into it and start reading a lot more about it it will come kind of like naturally and you see a lot of things that you manifest in your life or that happened in your life it was actually you who created it and not um, some sort of like um, it wasn't a coincidence or anything like that so if you want me to make a video about things that I have manifested in my life please comment down below and I'm always happy to do it but today we're going to talk about how to manifest money now as we all know money is important and I love money because it gives me the freedom to do what I love it allows me to buy more vintage magazines all the supplies that I need for my business it allows me to produce more to make more people happier that way to teach people how to do it you know so it's all the different reasons why I love money money as, as, a, as a paper doesn't mean anything it's more about the experiences that you get with the money that makes money valuable I think to all of us so the most important thing when you start thinking about manifesting money is to first realize why do you want money so what I would do is usually sit down and say if I need a specific amount of money I'll sit down and say well I need this much money to do this and this will bring other people this much happiness and this will bring me happiness you know and all sorts of things so it's very, very important to understand why you want money and why do you want, um, for example, sales on Etsy. What is it that you want to do with um, with all those sales? So for example, what makes me happy to have sales is knowing that people have them in their homes and I often visualize my art in other people's houses and all over the world. So it just makes me really happy and I know that it makes those people who receive them really happy. 
So that's one of the main things that you have to um, realize. Also, you want to be very clear about do you want to make this a career? Do you not? You know, what is it exactly that you want? Um, because that will help you realize how much money do you need. For some people maybe you need £100. Some people might need thousands and thousands of pounds. It just depends on what you want from life. So it's really important to sit down and think about what exactly it is that you want to manifest by um, having all this money. The second thing is, as I said, to believe that you can have it. Now, this is one of the main struggles that I had when I first started um, working on manifesting money because obviously all my life I have been told that you can't be an artist, you can't earn money from it, no one is going to buy it, your art is too weird and all this blah blah blah, yada 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 that people say. So I had to work a lot on my beliefs and what I would do is um, tell, do a lot of affirmations, uh, about myself, you know, build a positive self-image, you know, gain confidence as an artist and therefore project this like positive energy around me that makes other people believe and love my artwork as well. So um, that is one of the things that I had to work on and I'm happy to say a new report that I'm really happy with it. One of the things that really helped with that is when I started getting sales is made me realize that oh right people like my art so why wouldn't I like my art and why wouldn't I believe in myself and it just gave me that extra confidence that I need to um, get to the next step which is obviously doing the work that you have to do. Now, many people have manifested a lot of things that um, don't really require you doing anything, and that is great, but when we talk about specifically manifesting on Etsy, you will have to do things to sell. It won't just happen overnight, so you need to create new, for me, artworks, I need to do all sorts of stuff. And one of the things that I really do all the time is, you know, the plastic sleeves that I have in the cardboard, I will always make like, 50 or 100 depending on how many I plan to sell and I'll put them and prepare everything like it's ready to ship so it's already ready and that kind of helps with that manifestation of being prepared because I'm acting as if I am already having those sales so I would definitely advise you doing that um, it's kind of like one of those things that fake it until you make it well it's kind of like similar to at the beginning I used to do it obviously uh, because even when I didn't have any sales I still did that and that increased and now instead of doing like 10 packs a day I maybe do 50 packs a day you know so I just keep increasing that amount as I go along um, because obviously my gain my goal is to have more and more sales on Etsy so I do that all the time and obviously I you have to, I have to put work into creating new artwork or anything inspirational artwork and um, you know just doing the things that you have to do on Etsy. The fourth thing that's really important is letting go. Now this sometimes can be really hard, especially at the beginning when you're just starting out and you're trying to manifest money, is letting go because sometimes you need that extra money for whatever you need. Some people need it to pay bills. You know, we all have different reasons why we want to manifest money. But the most important thing is to, you have to understand that you have to believe that this will come in any form and this will be sorted. So just let go, stop thinking about it. I, once I package all the things, I don't dwell on it, I don't think about it, I don't doubt it, I know it's gonna sell and yeah, I just let go. You know, and you know, one way or another, I will make sales. I might not make sales on Etsy, but I'll make sales on Redbubble or Society6 or any other, you know, someone might ask me for a commission. So there's all different ways that you can get the money that you need you just have to start believing the fifth thing is just be open to receiving the money and the sales be open to through different channels you know so when i say that you can sell on etsy sell on red bubbles so site six maybe open your own website you know try selling on different platforms open those doors so don't just have one door that's open open like 10 different doors of where money can come from and then you know it will come, it will definitely come. If you do all these steps, money will come to you. One of the things I mentioned is I do affirmations and I often do them without realizing. So sometimes if I have a doubt or I get, I'll say, oh, I didn't sell anything today. I will say, I am selling loads, I'm a money magnet, um, money comes to me easily, you know, maybe I didn't sell today, but tomorrow I'm gonna sell loads, you know, and all, I do all this, you know, I constantly tell myself, redirect my brain into thinking positively, and this is something that obviously became a habit to me, for me now to do, but in the beginning it was, it was a chore, I had to actually do it. I don't actually write them down, but I do do them quite often. So now I'm going to talk about like the things that I do to manifest more money. Into so the first thing that I do is I have my wallet, which is very pretty. And in my wallet, 
I have, you, you probably heard of this, but I have 100 euros um, that I always keep. And with that, I have a little crystal, which is citrine. Uh, citrine is a very um, strong crystal for manifesting what you want. I have put my um, desire to earn more money into this stone. I said, please manifest more money. You know, I believe in you. I know your worth. Obviously, you have to believe in crystals for them to work. I am grateful for all the money I have and I always have money and I put it there and I just leave it I will never spend this money and then that feeling of always having money really helps and one of the things that I have always done even before I knew about law of attraction is that I always said I always have money and my mom will always say to me you always have money it's like even if I worked like a job like when I was 16 and I was earning like four pounds fifty an hour I always had money for everything that I always wish for and it's still like that to this day. So money comes from different sources and yeah. So I think having money in your wallet that you can spend but choose not to and makes you feel that you always have money which means that you always attract more money so it's a great way to get more money. The second thing that I do is I have this little box which I bought in Ticket Max. And it's just a small gold box because I believe that gold attracts um, positive things and it's a very positive, um, how should I call it, colour. And um, yeah, so inside I have written whatever is in this box is and I also said this or something on something better and now manifests for me. And inside I keep like little papers of things that I wish to manifest. I have written them uh, as it already happened. I have expressed my gratitude. And again, I have my crystal in here, which is citrine again, for manifesting all of the things that are inside this box. Once I write everything that's in this box, I just let go. I do not think about it. I believe that it's true. I believe it's gonna happen. I believe I act as it's already happened. So this is a great way of um, manifesting things that you want. And obviously not everything in this box is all about money. As I said, there's many different things I want to manifest in my life, uh, but this video is just about money. But yeah, and the third thing that I do is, well, actually the fourth thing that I do is I have this little um, to-do list um, for weekly, so I hope you can see, but it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and each evening before I go to sleep, I will write um, my intentions for tomorrow, and one of the intentions that I will write is like package all the artworks that I have sold overnight um so i will do that every time i will feel great about it i will go into bed and thinking oh how exciting i'm gonna sell tonight while i'm asleep you know it's the best thing in the world and then in the morning when i and then i let go because obviously i fall asleep and that's the easiest way for me to let go is because in the evening i just do this ritual very quick and easy and then it's easy for me to fall asleep obviously and then I just sort of let go by falling asleep and not thinking about it while well, I'm asleep so it's really easy and in the morning obviously I wake up and I wake up to the sales because that's what I expect I expect to wake up um, with the sale and in the morning if I don't if I wake up and I doubt I kind of keep telling myself positive affirmations you have sold you know blah blah, blah before I look at my phone and yeah so it's one of those things that I do. I, I hope that you found this video very informative. I know it's a bit longer than expected or what I usually do but I just had a lot of things to talk about. Obviously I use a lot of different methods to manifest different things so if you would like more videos like this please give it a thumbs up and please comment down below on what um, is of your interest or what you would like me to talk about. Um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed and obviously these are the methods that I use to manifest more money and I hope these methods help you manifest more money into your life to do whatever your heart desires with it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!